have quadrupled my hair in the last year and these are all the products that got me there. My hair's only grown probably like three or four inches since this photo taken last June, but I think the biggest difference is that all of this breakage you see here has grown out. So everything is just looking a lot longer and a lot fuller. As a note, this is dry hair. Um, my hair was just permanently crunchy like this because it was fried, fried, fried. So now I feel like I've finally gotten it in good shape. Starting off strong with shampoo and conditioner. I'm partial to this Virtue, specifically the turquoise color, um, because this is what I used when my hair was actually on death's doorstep last year, and I feel like that's what really helped save it. Right now, I'm using the Unite and the Amica. I just kind of switch off and alternate, and I really do love these products as well. I'm including the K18 Peptide Prep because it really helps with getting all of the buildup out of your hair, and I feel like that can really allow for new growth to come in. Wouldn't be my video if I didn't talk about deep oiling. You guys have seen me do it a thousand times. I use the Miel Rosemary and Mint Oil. And then one of the hair masks between the Virtue, the Amica, and the Fido Paris. I really love them all equally. It just depends on what kind of smell or kind of vibe I'm going for that day. Um, and then I just saran wrap it all. I've got whole videos on that if you want like a more in-depth tutorial. I'm including K18 here because when my hair was actually dead, it really needed it. I wouldn't suggest it if your hair isn't in like desperate need, but it did really help in that moment. I also have rosemary here. I make my own rosemary water every single week and I feel like it really helps with growth. I love seven seconds to tangler when I'm brushing my hair. I don't want to break anything. I'm constantly applying oil. I use the Unite, Virtue, or Kenra. I switch off between the three. I love them all equally and I always put oil on before I work out before I go to bed before I heat style my hair anything like that something that's worked for me is to limit how much I'm actually washing my hair so I'm only washing my hair like one to two days a week so things like the dry shampoo this mousse this finishing spray in the corner over there those can really help me get by in between washes and make my blowouts last a lot longer. On that note, I invested in a Dyson. If you don't want the Dyson, you can get the Supersonic, um, but it really, really helps go longer in between blowouts. And I also feel like they're a little bit less damaging than other heat tool. I also love my heatless curlers and my sleepy tie hair. Lots of comments about collagen. These are two that I like and a protein powder that I drink a lot. And most importantly, you have to eat protein. I can recommend any product to you, but if you are not eating enough protein, your hair will not grow, period. I hope this helps. And if you guys want more ideas on how to get more protein or what I personally do every day, let me know.